Tonight, the St. Rock community and top brass from the NOPD took part in a crime walk focusing on the recent violence in that area. The crime walks are held each month, but after a pair of brutal attacks in recent days, tonight's walk was much more. The attacks at St. Rock in North Claiborne and on Music in Urquhart left two men severely beaten. But Police Superintendent Ronald Surpass says investigators are making headway. WDSU reporter Gina Swanson live at police headquarters tonight with more. Gina. That's right, Scott. Superintendent Surpass tells us that he doesn't think that the two attacks are related, but he does say investigators are still looking for a motive, trying to determine if this was gang related at all. In the meantime, people are happy to have stepped up police presence in St. Rock. It had the festive feel of a community parade, but this wasn't a happy occasion. Two savage attacks in as many days. Police say the beatings were carried out by a group of young people. We're going to find them. You know, we've been saying this a lot lately, and we've, called, we've held true every time, and I'm saying this to the children and their parents. We're going to find out who you are. We're going to get you. We're going to bring you in front of a juvenile court or a criminal court, depending upon how old you are, and you're going to be held accountable for, you know, for carelessly just hitting on somebody. So it's just not acceptable, but where are their parents? The attacks have brought new attention to a neighborhood that has a long-standing problem with violent crime. The 5th District has racked up more homicides than any other this year. One of the victims of the attacks plans to move away. The head of the Neighborhood Association says while he wants justice served, he still hopes the young people responsible for the crimes can be saved. It's not like, it's, like this neighborhood has not seen crime before. And so I'm not going to let a, you know, a few... Uh, guys run me away from my neighborhood. Actually, I believe with the, with the right tools and the right innovation that these gentlemen or these girls can be reformed. In the meantime, community leaders say they're glad to see additional police resources in their neighborhood. We're out here because we're not going to allow uh, uh, these violent offenders to uh, terrorize our neighborhoods. Now, clearly, this investigation is still ongoing. If anyone out there has any information that can help police, call Crime Stoppers at number 822 1111. For now, we're on your side at police headquarters. I'm Gina Swanson. Back to you. Gina, thanks. A packed house.